Hi guys, Retro Django here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we are going to take a look at this beautiful single board computer, Kadesh, from Kadesh, and it's called VIM4, the VIM4. Now, I have been contacted by this company. They wanted me to review this beautiful, beautiful card. You all know, my channel is all about retro computing. So why do I need to review a brand new single board computer like this? In my channel, we review 80s, 90s, uh, old retro PCs, Commodore 64, Amiga, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, all sort of old stuff. Also Raspberry Pi emulating the old systems. The thing is, before we go into this, I will just tell you guys that yes, I have tried to emulate some of the old systems because I want to try all of them different thousands, thousands of games. So I have used Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 4, Raspberry Pi 400. My issue is I use the real hardware. I use speakers with built-in amplifiers. I love the audio part. This one, the audio part is so bad. I mean, the it emulates, it works, but it's just not good enough for a guy like me that wants awesome experience. Uh, that's the first thing. The other thing is we want to replay some of the consoles from the 90s. A console like the Nintendo 64. Some of the games are on, some of the games it just does not have power enough. So we need better audio, we need better performance, better power. 8 gigabyte of RAM, I, I will put it on the screen so you can see all the spec of this beautiful Vim 4 from Kadesh. Now, today we're going to check out how easy you can use this card. It will have a world premiere release launch day, 10th of May. So what you are watching today, at filming everything is at beta beta form so it will be better but i'm just gonna show you when you buy a raspberry pi whatever you have to download something uh, burn an image on a uh, micro sd card before you can do anything this is not like that this is something that i like that i love and that's easy plug and play and a lot of power okay Plug and play is so important for me. So when you give this one power, you, the manual says that um, the manual says that it needs nine to twelve volts of power. I just put in my uh, RetroPie 400s five volt and it boots works fine. So you have full size HDMI out. You have got USB C five volt is enough for, for my review here, and uh, USB 2.0, 3.0, building gigabit LAN, fan, active fan, of course the 40 pin header. You have got micro uh, HDMI video in also, and you have got M2 slot here, you have got micro SD slot here, and it has got 32 gigabyte of memory storage built in. It has got small connectors, antenna for the Wi-Fi, for Bluetooth. It has got everything built in on this single board computer. And when you boot it up, you can choose either Gigabit LAN or wireless. So we are going to start up with wireless and I'm gonna show you how easy this one is. You don't need a PC. Also, it has got power on and off, button, functions, menu, so, so simple, plug and play. So Kadesh reached out to me and said, Retro Django, you need to have one of these on your channel because, I mean, this card is just perfect with all that power for us retro gamers. So they wanted some niche retro geek like me to show off this card. So let's uh, plug everything in and see how this how easy it is to set this one up. And in on, in on future videos, I'm gonna show you some retro gaming, but also a bit more modern games because this one is a 
powerhouse and I'm just really looking forward to sharing with you guys so uh, let's give it a go now this is how it looks when you just connect it HDMI power and my connector for the mouse and wireless keyboard there we go that's it guys so when you turn this one on you don't need to do nothing not download anything not burn an image to a micro sd card everything is just so easy plug and play oh wow it just it's in beta form now the vim 4 as you can see i have connected my wi-fi up here so you can easily set up your wi-fi you can choose continue and then it says wi-fi is connected again guys i i want everything easy and plug and play now i can choose the vim4 android 11. can you read it oh it's not easy but again everything beta this package is from april 29th okay I, I can use Android, I can use, again, uh, Vim 4, Ubuntu 22, or I can choose Vim 4, Ubuntu Server Linux. Let's just go up and say we want Android system installed. Not with a PC, no nothing. I just choose yes please, and I just choose download it. And according to your um, internet speed and stuff like that, as you can see, um, we have to download 406 megabyte and it's at 8%. So I will just skip this to 100% and uh, yeah, show you guys. All right, it just downloaded and installed everything. I can just plug and play. This is the first boot after the installation of the Android uh, system so let's just see how long time it takes for the first boot uh, after the first installation and then as you can see I installed I actually installed the antenna for um, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi that's it guys everything is just ready plug and play I love it the system is ready. It's so simple that I can do this. <laughs> um, Wi-Fi is on. You can go in here. AM player. App installer. Settings, files, gallery. Let's check out settings. Kadesh settings. HDMI in. You can yeah put in. Ethernet display sound. I mean, LED control. White is on. Red is on. Oh, nice. Breathe mode. Oh, the red goes up and down. Nice. Heartbeat mode. The red will be. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Oh, that's not. I'll take brief. That's nice, guys. <laughs> so you have some cooling fan. Let's see, we have a fan. Let's check level one. Now the fan is on. And the passive cooler is cold. Let's check level two. Oh, nice. But if we just take auto and it just shuts it off, so. Yeah, we can update and stuff like that. So easy. Internet, app, notifications, storage, 14% used. It uh, It's so nice with the built-in 32 gigabyte of, of hard disk. <laughs> I was about to say that, but yeah. About the Vim 4, Vim 4, uh, Android 11. Oh, that's great, guys. So this, this is actually one of the systems you can use if you want uh, let's go in and install ubuntu now because this is just a 10th of may <laughs> launch video that i want to share with you guys how cool this little device is so i just want to show you that you can install this and after this i will show you ubuntu but 
later I will show you retro gaming and it's gonna be so cool man it's gonna be so cool app installer choose a device to scan applications uh, I don't know <laughs> so let's just go in and install let's go in and install Ubuntu how do I do it you just take this one out it's so simple guys you just hold the function key down and press reset then it will go back to the first window and here you can see all the different connections i will put a proper picture on the screen uh, we have got g sensor vin input micro sd spi flash oh, it's so nice man m2 pci 2.0 lane let's reset this and install ubuntu now, if you don't want to just install Ubuntu, you can press escape and you are inside the BIOS system here. You can write image to eMMC, dump the image, device configuration. You can go in and, you know, set up all the things you want to set up. Go in here to network, put on your Wi-Fi code uh, and, and connect to the internet. So simple. You can go into system. You can update the system as you can see we have the newest version here but again everything is beta at the 10th it will oh there we go sorry <laughs> go back here online scripts you can update scripts as you can see here checking for the latest version and that's the latest version i have installed here on this one you can go into advanced test the device dump images and stuff like that really really simple stuff you're going to experimental and install some different packages we have get fun we have some we have tetris and star wars and yeah small games built in here that's about it so if i didn't reset the system it would just boot up as as usual and go in and and, and use um the Android system and, and it boots in a flash when it's installed. But now I want to reset everything and I want to not choose server, but this one, Ubuntu <laughs> from 26th of April. And so simple as this guys, first uh, system, it, 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 it took no time to install and easy to use. Well, no Android. Now I want to use Ubuntu and I say download and it will get me that. That's a bigger file. So let's just let it download and I'll be back. There we go. Guys, how cool is this? First boot after installation takes no time, man. So this is Ubuntu 22.4 watts. And there we go. You don't need a PC to set stuff up, no maintenance, no nothing. We are already, I mean, everything built in. I, I love this, man. We have got all the stuff we want to use. <laughs> I wish they had some retro games installed, but additional, additional drivers, utilities, fan settings again. <laughs> I press OK. <laughs> Let's go into fan settings. Just choose auto. Bam. That's it. Yeah, save that fan setting. Um, software update. Settings. System information. Linux, yeah. Guys, that's about it. This is just a fast, fast review of this beautiful new single board computer that comes out 10th, 10th of May. I can't say the exact price, but I will put a link to the site, Kadesh, so you can 
fail to download information, check your internet connection. Well, we're not online. That's weird. Settings. Wi-Fi. Let me just see. Wait. Now we should be online. Bam! Now it's online. Sorry guys. Let's just check software updater. Try again. Now it should work. <laughs> Let's update it. Yeah. Again, I will put a direct link and I want to say thank you for this company. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for sending me this review example. And I'm really looking for... This is not me. I mean, all this new stuff is not me. My channel is all about retro gaming, retro stuff. And I can't wait to share... Do I want to install it now? Yes. Updated, man. I mean, it's so simple. Thank you for this. <laughs> but I can't wait to share retro gaming with you guys. It's going to be awesome. So thank you for watching, guys. Some people will say, is this a Raspberry Pi killer? I can't say yet because I don't know the price of this product. Because it's not it's not released yet, so uh, yeah. In uh, in short time, I will know the price just like you guys. But the Raspberry Pi price are not uh, as it as a twenty twenty two price. You know, part shortage and all stuff like that. So everything is more expensive today. This one will also be a bit more expensive. But I don't know, guys. I, I'm excited about this product, the Vim Four, and. Man, I can't wait to dive in and make the next video with this beautiful computer. As of right now, wow. Thank you for watching, guys. Retro Jenko, out.